again. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> I do not get it. <laughs> uh, so where do you plant trees at Ecosia and how do you decide where to do that? At Ecosia, we have the principle that we want to plant trees where they provide value to people and nature. So um, we, we, we use this, um, uh, these principles both for searching projects as well for the execution of projects on the ground. Um, for the search for projects, it, uh, for example, means that we're looking to do projects in one of the 35 biodiversity hotspots on the planet. How do you make sure the trees you plant will not be cut down again? You can never be 100% sure, but you can make sure that the right ingredients are in place that make it very likely that the project is a success. Um, for Ecosia, that means that we insist on native species and that their species follow natural processes in the succession. Um, it also means that the local communities are the key drivers of the project. So they make the land available, they are involved in the restoration project, um, and, and they are benefiting from the project long term. Um, also, we are monitoring uh, the project intensively in the first years to see whether everything goes according to plan. Um, compared to baking a pie, if you put all the right ingredients in your pie and in the right proportions, and then you put it into the oven, it's very likely that you have a very good pie, but you can never be 100% sure. But if you have the right ingredients from the start and you know what you're doing, you have the best chance of success. Do you plant a tree every time the tree counter goes up? Uh, no. We don't have uh, thousands of people uh, globally on standby that I can, can call every time when the tree counter goes one up. Um, what we do is we make a, a yearly planning with our partners on when they're going to plant trees, which depends on season, etc., etc. And I, as a tree planting officer, I make sure that our tree planting counter never shows more trees than we have actually paid for. How much do you spend on a project? This depends on the size of the projects and the cost per tree. Um, so, depending on the capacity of the planting partner we work with, we have contracts with a value of 70,000 for one year or up till even 900,000 for one year. How much does it cost to plant a tree? This depends on many, many factors. Um, it depends on the labor cost, it depends on whether you have to build a nursery, it depends on whether the species are easily available or not, it depends on the cost of the seeds. It's, it's very different. Um, and at the moment, we have prices that vary from 5 cents to up to 2 euros. Um, we want to pay a fair price, so we want really to pay the, what it costs to plant these trees. Um, but we also are very much analyzing together with our partners, you know, what, what are the cost drivers of the project. We want to give them the freedom to do it in the way that they want. But we're also collecting in this way a database of different methodologies and different approaches to do tree planting. So we hope that together we can always get better and, and, and more efficient in planting trees. How many trees do you plant per hectare? This depends on the ecosystem. Um, so as a general rule of thumb, you can say about a thousand trees per hectare are planted. Um, but in, uh, for example, a mangrove system, we're planting even 10,000 trees um, per hectare. Um, and in a savanna system, it might be that in the first years there's about 1,000 trees, but eventually there will be about 650 or 700 trees per hectare. That's the natural density that occurs at these locations, um, so that is where we're working towards too. Which species do you plant? Uh, many different species. So in the projects that we're working with today, we have over 100 different tree species that we're planting. Uh, on our website, you can see which species we're planting. And we also describe what value they create for nature and what value they create for people. Uh, this list is constantly updated uh, with further species and further information that we collect as we go. Where can I see the impact of your projects? Our partners are constantly sharing um, updates about the projects and how they're doing. And we are ourselves also frequently visiting the projects to see uh, how it's going. Um, these, this information is shared through our social media channels, uh, Twitter, Facebook, you name it. Um, and also in the office, we have an extensive system in which we're tracking the process that the projects are making. Um, we want to be super transparent. So we're also uh, later this year improving how we display the projects on our website so you can find much more information. That's a promise right there. <laughs> That's a promise, but it's uh, the planning, so. <laughs>
Can you reforest faster than the world deforests? Where's the rate at currently and can we combat climate change? Now, the forces that bring down forests are really different than the forces that grow forests. So the forces that, that bring down forests are agriculture, mining, illegal logging, etc., etc. This is not changing by the replanting that Ecosia is doing. Um, it might be balancing it, um, but we, we really want to make sure that through our system and the environmental consciousness that, that we're creating, people also start to think about the impact of deforestation that they're actually having. Our business is restoring what has been destroyed and um, we, we're getting really big. Um, we are having fantastic partners that are having a large impact on the ground. I think um, we can become the most significant reforestation force on the planet. Um, and if you consider that uh, trees and agriculture make up about um, 20 to 30 percent of the climate change, then indeed we can have a positive impact on climate change as well. But everything should be seen in the right context. There's a lot of different forces that actually drive climate change, like fossil fuels, etc. So we can have a big impact, but we can not solve all the problems. So if my country is burning down, can I suggest new projects? <laughs> <laughs> um, everyone is free uh, to suggest new projects. Just send me an email at treeplanting at ecosia.org. As you understand, we're at the moment particularly looking for uh, larger projects that are working in the biodiversity hotspots and that have a big impact on the local population. Um, feel, feel free to, to send them to me and we can have a conversation. I would ask, I would want to know, like, why do you guys give a shit about this? Like, why do you care? Why do you do it? Why do you like trees? So, why not? Um, I think it's really weird. Uh, that it's not a kind of natural reflex for everyone who is either an individual or a business to take care of the very planet it's living on. And I'm completely surprised that we have created economic systems that see the planet as an externality, whereby we only have one planet. So it's, it's not so much about, hey, isn't it weird to plant trees? It's actually, isn't it weird to not care? And what we want to do is that we want we want to show that it can be done, that it's actually fun to do, and that it's very much needed, and that everyone has a choice to care about the planet. <laughs>